Hey, get up. No. Ooh. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not a dad. Babe's sleep. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're under no offense. There's a tractor uh, and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Um. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. They don't give you a lot of time to answer these, back, man. You know, that's a valuable treat, baby. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Um... Hey, we'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to move it. I was like, oh. Cutscenes are so long It's in this. not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets a job done. Be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. Hey there, girls. Um, you two actually look relaxed. How's the city? What do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Oh, well, it stays like that forever. No, we well, used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. <laughs> uh, exit. Okay, Lee. Cat. Wow. She learned I was fired. What a way to put it, man. Whatever. <laughs> Why did I get fired, though? That's the question. How you doing, Doug? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill. I'm good. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Um... Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. It won't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Two. Um, I had to I shoot, shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. 
How about yours? How's your family? I don't know where my ex-wife is. My parents are in Macon. Uh, are in Macon. Oh. I don't have enough time to choose like so which answer is the best. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification door. pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Alright. Um, is there anyone else that I haven't talked to yet? Herschel. I haven't talked to him. Let's see. It seems like an alright dude. I don't think I can talk to him anyway. Nope. Oh yeah, I can. Hey there, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? Hmm? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Um... No, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. Yeah. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. The government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. Okay. Um, oh, there's Herschel. I can go talk to him. Didn't know he was in the barn, though. Thought he was inside. So let's talk to Herschel. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I followed. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Um, I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. Walked it to a board fight. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Well, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents, wife, girlfriend. Um. My parents are in Macon. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her. Ba -ba -ba. I was being attacked, and she came to my rescue. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the city. Or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. So what, do you think I'm lying? Okay, what happened? What happened? Who's getting bit? Is it Sean? Oh yeah. No, he's not even getting bit. He's just, oh, that's, well that's, that's something else right there. I can't. Kid. I gotta help the kid. 
I wish I could help both, but I can't, I don't think. Okay, help Sean, help Sean, help Sean. Help Sean. <laughs> sorry. Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. Yes, I did. I. Um. I thought I could help them both. Yeah, exactly. You thought wrong. And now, please, just go. Get out and never come back. Dang, Herschel, you a mean old grouch in this one. You got that ride to make it if you want it. So if I tried to save Sean first, could I have saved them both, or would the would duck have died? Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck. You. Oh boy. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, that's Glenn. I know that's Glenn. I can already tell. the girl. Is it Maggie? There's no way. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking Who's that? Mean it. That's obviously Glenn, it. <laughs> Worse, they could have let him right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I, I have to pee. <laughs> I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't Who's care. Lily? Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. <laughs> oh, shit. So, bitch. One of them was bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. Was he bitten? One hole. 
No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. Put your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find it. Listen, these options that they give you don't make it very clear what you're going to say and what's going to happen. You side with him. I figured I was actually going to try and side with him, not say, we side with him, and then disagree with Kenny. And I'm not trying to be the bad guy here. And, and it's making me look like that. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! No, he's not. He's not, not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, you get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed <laughs> toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. Oh. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Uh. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. Then, he'll be free. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Um. Hit, hit. Wait, 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 wait. Hit him. Okay. Hit him, Kenny. Yeah. Jesus. Oh man. Well, he. Okay, he got messed up. Why are you tripping over everything, Lee? Jeez, trip over frickin' blood. Oh yeah, I already knew I had to hit X. Let's go. Let's go. Oh shoot, you a big boy. You a tough boy. I can't freaking <laughs> Couldn't hit X fast enough. You okay? Just great, thanks. Ow. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. Thank God. I'm ready for you to die, you freaking jerk. Um. Was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. Blood pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Why would I help him? There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything <sighs> useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. 
I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Where, Carly. Wh what? Okay, Carly. Where did he come from? I, <laughs> this is the first time I've now seen him. Get some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Gosh, this movement's weird. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Uh, can I go to the bathroom? No, but I can look what this is. Well, this place didn't get looted. Oh, it's an ATM. Uh, why don't you pick up? Don't know. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Yeah, you said that. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a bitch in front of my people. I don't know <laughs> shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting you down. And that violence before with my dad, it didn't help. Um. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more, more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. Got a temper. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that. Yeah. We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying, some people can't handle a temper like that. Hey, well, it seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, no, I'm not a dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answer message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. That's why you're being nice, nice to me now. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, no. I Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Is anyone here when you guys got a pharmacy? Here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him now. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't. Is there a note? Nope. Oh, I can go in now. Cool. Oh no, 
pushes the bed. This door leads to the back alley. Yep. Let's see what's in this. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. First aid kit. Is that Lee? In the white? Huh. Find anything? Um just a picture of whoever was here. I know oh, who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' oh. story. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention oh. to the trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. Sticking for stage for a reason. So well, X is the good. better answer, you is what I've noticed. Okay, and the last thing we need is drama out there. We've got this little girl to take care of. Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear. I'll just keep it to myself. Um. Yeah, X is don't the better answer. And I don't live in Athens, Georgia. I live in Athens, Ohio. But I thought they were in Ohio for a second. I was about to be like, oh, dang. <laughs> What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you, man. My dad gave it to me. See, so dad's just smart like that. Hmm. Okay. So this was his parents... Better get this door. Um, store. Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh, How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything inside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports or smooth this thing? Uh, what are your parents doing? Parents do. My mom is a doctor and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing. Things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? They don't exist. Um. I hope not. It's just complicated. That's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things were a bit different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we don't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I 
hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find your bench. Uh. It's locked. We need to track down the keys for the real Larry. Well, let's check the first aid kit, buddy. Let's have a look at that finger. Oh. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Keep a lookout. I've Plot got twist. What if, what if her parents actually are alive and they find us in this game? That'd be hilarious. That'd be crazy. I'd, I'd, I'd poop myself. To my dad's TV. Yeah, it is. That's what I figured. Uh, is there anything else that I can look at? Want to head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah. You're not bad, right? I am. Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Uh... Yeah, and you <clears throat> had to protect yourself. Oh shoot, is she talking about that guy that was sleeping with my wife? Cause I, he wasn't trying to eat me, I just... <laughs>